it's not weird that I go to the gym. Like that's what I'm trying to do is show people like this is normal. Thirty-one-year-old Lindsay Hilton was born without limbs, but she is not letting that stop her from competing in one of the world's most extreme fitness competitions. CrossFit is like that. It's a very encouraging atmosphere, even though it's a very competitive atmosphere. CrossFit contests are notoriously grueling, but Lindsay just ranked second in her division in the Wadapalooza tournament after completing demanding training sets. So we're going to do some cleans, some squats, do a little bit of muscle up work, handstand work, parallel holds. The high intensity exercise involves elements from several disciplines that even the fittest athletes find grueling. I think it takes a lot of guts. Lindsay's achievements have been really, really great so far. She started CrossFit just over a year ago. Over the last year, she's gone from not even having a way to do pull-ups to now busting out pull-ups one after the other. Handstands, cleans, Olympic weightlifting. She always sort of thought skipping was something she was never going to do, so she was going to be disappointed, and then uh, now she learned how to skip, so. Overcoming challenges is something Lindsay has thrived on for her entire life. I can't wallow in the fact that I don't have arms and legs because there's nothing that I could ever do to change the, the outcome. My parents found out that I was going to be missing all of my limbs once I was born. I have two older siblings um, and I can remember, you know, playing outside in the backyard or um, we have a, a cottage in Chester and I always you know, we swam there, we boated, we did all sorts of stuff. I'm sure it maybe looked unique to people, but for me it was, it was normal and it was the way I always did things, so. When I was really young, I wore prosthetic arms and prosthetic legs. I no longer wear prosthetic arms for everyday use. I stopped wearing them because I had a pair once that just kept like breaking. So I started doing stuff without them and realized that I could do a lot of things faster or easier, so I just kind of got used to it. The CrossFit training regime is notoriously tough. In terms of her attitude, same as any other athlete, she comes in and whines and complains about whatever the workout is up on the board, mopes around a little bit, doesn't want to get into the warm-up, <laughs> just like anyone else. Right now, I'm really trying to get to the gym at least five times a week. So I am trying to step up my game. And Lindsay is adamant that she doesn't need to give more thought to safety than anyone else. I don't think I take extra precaution. I think I would take the same precaution as anybody else. You always have to kind of gauge, is she struggling because it's a challenging thing that she's doing, or is she struggling for any other reason, and should I help? There's no sense like being scared. If I had been scared or thought, oh, it's not for me, there's no way I can do this, like honestly my life would be so different. And I do post videos of me doing things because it's like, okay, well I'm gonna try this and maybe that will motivate somebody in a, in a similar situation to, to try something. Back in March, a video of me doing a workout kind of went viral, I'll say. So the CrossFit main site, so CrossFit headquarters posted a video of me on their Facebook page and it got like 7 million views or something like that, which was crazy. I still did get like a lot of positive responses from that. And Lindsay hopes that her videos will inspire people from all walks of life for years to come. I guess my main message that I'm trying to kind of share with people is to, to just try. I always think that like you shouldn't let the fear of the unknown hold you back. So I always say like just try. <laughs>